Well, the Louisville Collegiate Robotics teams are gearing up to go to an international competition and battle out others around the world for big bragging rights and, of course, awards. Joining me here, uh, we have the high school, the middle school teams, Sarah Wayrens, uh, one of the coaches for the teams, and uh, you're going to show us like a little example of what we can see, which I can't wait to see. But first of all, as a coach, you must be so incredibly proud of these teams uh, and what they're doing. Yeah, so, I mean, to make it to a world championships, yeah. especially, you know, you're a high schooler, uh, it's just, they're so proud of themselves. I couldn't be prouder. I know they know I cried when they won the state championship. Uh, you, they just worked so hard, put so much energy into this. You know, and what is it, how do you get to these international, uh, to that even to that level? What do you have to win besides state? And is it like one big competition or like every week you're doing something? Yeah, so both teams, the middle school and high school, our season starts in about September. Um, our game is released, so every year it's a new game, new obstacles to do, oh um, and we kind of start designing. That's where the preliminary design process start. A little bit of programming. You're kind of building your robot as you go, trying to make it a little bit better each week. Uh, you've got meets throughout the season for the high school. Um, it culminates like the middle school has a regional competition. Then uh, they won regionals. We uh, play second in our league meets. Went on to state, and we both won state. So we're headed to worlds. Right? Can you imagine? Like I can only imagine in these weekly meets just watching this like the video that it's nerve-wracking nerve-wracking yes. and the fact that they're probably like you know what that didn't work so let's try this or let's tweak yeah, this to like yeah. make it better for like the next round that's what's the next cool meet. about that's robotics neat. it can always everything can always be done better so they're always getting to push themselves in new ways yeah well I can't wait to see uh, what you have in store for us you're gonna show us uh, two experiments two examples yeah uh, here you have the high school and the middle school yes so I'll let you I'll let you take it from here. Okay. Right? Want to begin yeah. With high school. Yeah. Sure. Okay, that's great. Go ahead. Okay. So first, we have our Delta Robotics High School team. They're okay. going to demonstrate our robot. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ready, guys? Okay. All right. So All right, David's going to tell you what it's doing. So what we're demonstrating right now is the tally up capabilities of the robot, which means Mizra and I here are driving it. Normally, we have to stack these cones on some very tall poles here, but in the meantime, we're just stacking them right here. And now what we're doing is we're picking up a our 3D printed and designed beacon, and we can score this in a game to earn us extra points. We scored on top, yes, and we score that beacon on top of the other junction. So, Mister, can you show them how high the robot can go? This is how high it normally goes during the competition to cap on top of junctions, and we have to move around at the top there. Do you all construct this as well, or help? Yeah, put this so stuff together? Um, I would say just the task is one thing. Right, but then to know the background on the actual building of. Yeah, the yeah. students build the robot themselves. Uh, John, our middle school coach, loves to say kids do the work. So right? we're just the guide on the side, letting the kids yeah. explore, learn, iterate, um, go through the problem solving and design process. Well, let's go ahead and switch gears to the middle school process. I, I, meantime, I have a light that they can fix over here at the edge of the studio if they want to know. We like need their equipment to fix our studio. Would love it. All right, All I'll right. let you guys get to so uh, the middle school. So here's the middle school. This is the FLL competition that we participate in. I'll let the kids tell you what they're going to do. Awesome. So I am about to run my program. It's really mine and Will's here. But the first thing it does is it pushes this TV. And then it goes over and it collects this little unit, which we can use later to put in this dinosaur. So then it's going to push the windmill four times. And normally you would only need three, but we use four for redundancy, so that in case one gets stuck. So then it's going to back up and it's actually going to sense the it's going to sense the black on that line right there and then it's going to turn towards this model called the hybrid car. It's going to flick it up and then it's going to come over. So now me and Will are going to do a transition and you can only touch the robot inside of this white area. So now Will's going to run his program and it's going to flick the arm down and go over and sense the black on that line again. So now it's going to turn towards the model and go farther than it needs to before backing up just enough to flick it. Now it's going to use the wedge to push the energy units out and it's going to turn towards the other area where Sophia can pick it up and run her mission. And now we're going to run um, Toy Factory. Oh. And this, the, the program will go towards Power to X first to drop off some energy units. You guys are doing an incredible job, by the way. I'm just so impressed. Thank so you. impressed. It will sense the black line, and then it'll drop off energy units. Mm -hmm. This is power to X here. And it will now go to Toy Factory. Uh-huh. 
and the hotel units. Yeah, so Claudia, what there you're saying, go. yeah, this is autonomous. So their robot's driving itself, mm -hmm. kind of like a self-driving car. The high school has a segment for that too. But yeah, they. I want to. We've got proud parents. I feel like proud parents in the middle school too. <laughs> well, yeah, this, Coach yeah. Paul and, and Coach John back here looking on. You guys do an incredible job. And I mean, wow, like absolutely incredible work. And I know you all are excited with the international competition. When is it coming up? Uh, so it's April 19th through 20 to the 22nd yeah. in Houston, Texas. All right, you can follow them along on their Instagram page. Uh, at Collegiate 1915, 1915. Yep. Uh, LouisvilleCollegiate.org for more information. Guys, thank you so much. Thank that you. That was phenomenal. Yay. All right, so you can check them out uh, as well and follow along with their journey.